Kali Linux 2023. New major updates to Kali Linux have arrived and it's the first of the year, the Kali Linux 2023.1 release marks the 10th anniversary of Kali Linux. And for the 10th anniversary, they are releasing a brand new flavor of Kali Linux called Kali Purple. Today, I'll be showing you around Kali Purple and some of the new tools that come with it and discussing how it differs from the regular Kali Linux experience that we all know, including the years of security and vulnerability testing that comes with our distro of choice here, Kali. We'll come back to that blog post, but let's first check out an actual running version of Kali Purple, which looks much like what we see in regular Kali Linux with the default desktop environment being XFCE still. They do have different choices and you get to select this while you're installing Kali Purple. During the installation process, you will be able to select all the tools as well as what desktop environment you want to install. Let's go through the desktop environment and explore what tools are available to us. And then we'll talk about some of the tools available in Kali Purple. On the top left-hand corner, you have the start menu where you get to search for your applications as well as various different desktop environment tools, including things like favorites, recently used, all the applications that are available in the system. And then you get subdirectories or subsections of the various different tools that are located on the distribution itself. All starting with settings, usual applications, such as things that pertain to accessories, development, graphics, internet, multimedia, office, other, and system. Identify tools are tools that help you identify various risks that may be attacking your system. Protect is of course to protect the system. Detect are tools to help you detect suspicious activity. Respond is responding to various failures or vulnerabilities on your system. And finally, recover, recovering from those attacks. A totally different approach here for Kali Linux. In Identify, we have many tools here, which are going to be ever-growing. As we know, Kali Linux are constantly adding tools in order for us to become better at testing for vulnerabilities on our system. Protect has just a few tools, including a firewall builder. Detect has add log, build DB, find logs, parse logs, rip DLL, and sentry peer. Respond has a whole bunch of tools here, including Wireshark, Unhide, IM Packet, Mac Robber, and Foremost. You can read about all these different tools yourself on the blog, and I'm sure they're going to have a page that describe these individual tools and how to use them before long. They're working on documentation currently, but in Recover, we have DD Rescue. So disk rescue, ext3 grep, ext4 magic, undelete, my rescue, recover dm, recover jpeg, scrounge, ntfs, and und unbox. You have other things that you could find in normal Kali as well, such as password attacks, reverse engineering, exploitation tools, sniffing and spoofing, post exploitation, forensics, reporting tools, social engineering tools, system services, and then finally links to all the Kali hubs. Down below, we have our current user who's logged in, access to settings, as well as logging out, shutting down, or restarting the computer. That's basically it in the settings. And then on our desktop, we do have the ability to put icons on the desktop, as well as access to trash, home, and the file system. Next to our start menu, we have minimizing every application and getting to our desktop. We also have the home users directory where we can open a folder or any of the home users subfolders specific to that user. To the right of that, we have a simple text editor, Firefox, the default web browser, the terminal, and the root terminal as well. One, two, three, four signifies the different desktop workspaces that you have available. You'll see here the current processes and memory being used. And if you click on it, you get the task manager to the right of that you have your wired or wireless connection, including VPN connections. And then you have your volume control as well as microphone control. Right of that, you have the current notification settings, including the do not disturb, clearing the notification log, and then accessing notification settings. Right of that, you have whether or not you wanna be in presentation mode or reach settings as well. A clock that also gives you access to a calendar, the lock screen and logging out shutting down or restarting the computer from the far right. So overall, this is much like what you would find in normal Kali Linux with really three main focuses. Number one being identifying risks, two, protecting the system, three, detecting irregularities, four, response 
we're really responding to malicious attacks, and five, recovery, or recovering from those attacks or system malware. Now that we've looked around the desktop environment, let's explore what other things come with Cali Purple by going over to the blog post. But before we get there, check out Delva.ai. Not sure how to start using AI for your business? Don't let your company fall behind. Start building an AI strategy today with Delva's AI Consulting. Schedule some time with Delva's AI Consultants and start integrating AI into your business. Again, check it out at Delva.ai. There's a link in the description below. So with Cali Purple, they say they're leveling the playing field. Over the years, we have perfected what we have specialized in, which is offensive security, and we are now starting to branch into a new area. And honestly, I would like to say a new era, defensive security. We are doing an initial technical preview pre-launch of Kali Purple, which is a defensive security edition of Kali Linux. This is still in its infancy and is going to need some time to mature, but you can start to see the direction of Kali is expanding into. You can also be a part of helping to shape the direction and how is that? Well, that's by testing out things and being a part of this of this beta testing process. Cali Purple, what is it? It is the one-stop shop for blue and purple teams. Feeling red, feeling blue, Cali Purple, of course, a mix of red and blue. You do you. Remember what we decided a decade ago with Cali Linux or with Backtrack before that? We made offensive security accessible to everyone. No expensive licenses required, no need for commercial grade infrastructure, no writing code or compiling tools to make it all work. Just download Kali Linux and do your thing. So they're excited to start the new journey with the mission to do exactly the same for defensive security. Just download Kali Purple and do your thing. So do your thing is definitely a common theme here. Kali Purple is starting out as proof of concept, evolving into a framework and then a platform just like Kali Linux is today. The goal is to make an enterprise grade level security accessible to everyone. And we've already discussed this a little bit, but on a higher level, Kali Purple consists of a reference architecture for the ultimate SOC system on computer in a box perfect for all sorts of things you can read about. There's gonna be over a hundred defensive tools from things like package captures, event management, vulnerability scanning, incident response, traffic analysis, intrusion detection. There's also going to be documentation, pre-generated images, Kali Autopilot, which is an attack script builder, Kali Purple Hub for people to share their scripts with the community, Com the community wiki, a defensive menu structure, which go into the five categories that we've already discussed. Of course, you'll have access to Discord and other people using the system and the wonderful XFCE desktop environment with their distribution. Here are some screenshots of some of the programs that can be ran in the background, including Elastic SIEM, a firewall tool that shows you various different events on the network. It looks pretty cool. In my opinion, let me know what you think. We also have Archime, which is a packet analysis tool that you can put in custom dates, as well as what type of protocols, data sources, and much, much more. Malcolm is a wonderful tool that allows you to view various different logs and reports on a dashboard. And finally, they show you the various different things you can install with Kali Purple, including the various different desktop environments and the specific sections that we already talked about. We already looked at some of the tools and the desktop environment itself. Definitely check out Kali Purple Wiki. I'll put a link in the description below so you can join the movement as well. What do you think about this new flavor of Kali Linux? And if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button for me. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.